And good morning. Welcome to another edition of Positive Vibes with me, your host, Shane Nikolic, and my guest today is Matthew Kelpsis. And of course, the, I forgot to finish the title of the show, Positive Vibes, Making Positivity and Gratitude Louder in a Podcast World. And this morning, I have my friend Matthew Kelpsis on a Zoom call. Let me see, let me try and get this cord over here. Sorry about that. Um, okay, it's not going to work. I'll just go there. And um, all right, there we go. And anyway, good morning, Matthew. Good morning, how are you today? I'm actually doing phenomenal. How are you? Yeah, doing pretty good. I was hoping to make it down there in person, but I'm, I'm snowed in up here in Federal Way, so. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people snowed in today. Uh, fortunately, I, like I was saying a few minutes ago when I was talking to you, I uh, shoveled my car out yesterday afternoon so I could go to the store and get something to eat. So. Yeah. Fortunately, that was prepared for me this morning, and it was clear roads coming into town, pretty much. Well, one of the perks of 2021 is we can now do most things virtually, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everything's, you know, we 2020 got us all set up for it. So. Yeah, it's like every, it's like most things are done via Zoom call now, anyway. Most or a lot of communication, anyway. Um, and as I saw on your uh, Instagram profile, mm -hmm. um. It was saying that, or Instagram bio anyway, it was saying that uh, you're, from what I gathered on there, you're a realtor, father, and a baseball lover. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, like, who, who do you sell homes for and where? Uh, so I'm a realtor with John L. Scott in Federal Way, um, but I serve pretty much all of the, the South Sound here. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm a father. I have two kids, a 12 year old daughter, 10 year old son. And yeah, I love baseball. So I try to, I try to make my Instagram about those three things, try to keep it a good balance. So. Right. Yeah. That's cool. And, uh, uh, it also said on there you're a certified negotiation expert. Uh, yeah, that was definitely something that I, I took on because with, with real estate, especially right now, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it's very competitive and very, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. And so I just tried to find you know, anything I could do to give myself an edge. And so I took a negotiation class and I uh, was able to get certified in that. And it's really been very helpful. Um, there's so many different parts of a real estate transaction that require negotiations, um, and I'm not sure a lot of people realize just how many parts along the way require negotiating. And so it's been a very helpful uh, certification that I got so far. So, yeah. And, you know, coming up uh, probably this year, uh, I'm going to take the master course from that same company. So oh, take, right. it even, take it even a step further uh, just because it has provided so much value for me so far. So, yeah. but yeah. Well, that, that's cool. It sounds like a very, very good, uh, very good choice for a career move. Yeah, definitely. Um, before that, I was uh, I worked for the state of Washington uh, for DSHS. I was up there uh, working in Hilltop for about 15 years, and a couple of years ago, decided to make a move and and do real estate. So I'm glad oh, I did. Right yeah. Very cool. Sorry, I was just trying to fix my monitor there. It went off. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, and I was just wondering, you know, well, I, you know, we, we had talked a bit about different uh, positive things we got going in our lives, and like, uh, I was just wondering, you know, what what is the what is like what are the main things that that hold you on the positive ground? Ooh, what are the, that's a really good question. Um, Cause I think that, that one thing I did learn in, in 2021 and in, in COVID and 
basically hibernation was it is a struggle each and every day to wake up and find um I don't I don't think it's hard to find the positive each day but it's it's sometimes hard to stay positive throughout the day um it and I'm talking early in uh quarantine when I was really starting to adjust to life just indoors like that and uh I think that as I found that I watched all the shows on Netflix. I couldn't watch any more shows on Netflix. It was like, okay, now what? I can't clean my place anymore. I have no more movies to watch. Uh, I do have a lot of books and I have always read a lot of books um, surrounding um, business principles, self-help principles, spiritual principles. And I figured, well, I started reading more and more and I started adding titles and I spent so much time reading many different things throughout COVID. And what I what I really found was that I was able to use that time uh, to kind of reestablish my, myself in that respect, um, especially the books on spirituality, um, getting, getting more in touch with, with all of that from me, you know, and it's been good. So, and now that, uh, you know, now that things are starting to open up a little bit, it, it's starting to feel a little bit more normal and and you know i've been able to take a lot of that that i picked up in quarantine with me now into the reopen so i would say even in that terrible time i was able to pick up some good things from it so yeah right on yeah i know uh myself i uh during the during the initial quarantine lockdown last year, um, what was it, March or April, after I had, uh, after I had gone down to Eugene at the very beginning of it, I mean, here it is, everyone's, you know, oh, we're locked down, we can't go anywhere, and here I am taking off Eugene, Oregon to go see some <laughs> friends, and uh, yeah, I went down there and hung out for two or three days, and I ran a half marathon distance down there in Eugene, and uh, you know, came back up here because I had a radio interview coming up, and then I ended up on the radio, but with this show. Um, but at any rate, yeah, I, I spent there was a lot of time I spent, uh, you know, getting used to staying at home, not going anywhere, and mm -hmm. you know, communicating virtually with with everyone, and uh, you know. Uh, you know, I go over to my mom's and have lunch or whatever, and we'd go for a walk, but that was about it, you know, and other than yeah. that, it was sitting at home, you know, so you might as well get to know yourself. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, well, and then obviously networking and, and friends and family and yeah, phone yeah. calls and uh, Zoom calls and and all that so there, there's been a lot of different ways to stay stay upbeat and positive yeah yeah definitely uh yeah i was just saying i was just noting that you know getting to know yourself because it's like you know might as well get to know myself you know get into spirituality or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit and i had gotten i had got back away from that you know a bit and it you know it was good to be able to get you know sort of forced to be isolated and, you know, get back into that a bit. And, yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, definitely positive and enriching. Yeah, well, and I think that for me, spirituality, it, it's not necessarily just religious things, but things that uh, are self-help books. Like I read a lot of books on forming habits and creating better habits and sustaining those habits. Um, uh, let's see, I, I read a book about willpower, uh, just things like that of that nature too, where it's more uh, about my internal self and trying to be the best self possible each and every day. Um, and of course, reading a lot of real estate stuff too, um, you know, and trying to use that time just to stay on top of, of each and everything that's going on. And so, yeah. But uh, I think I've read everything there is to read now. I've I've watched everything there is to watch. I've done 
6,000 Zoom calls. And now I just want to get back to seeing people face to face again. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, we're, I work there at Chopper Sushi in Bonnie Lake, and they, uh, it's like, you know, with this reopening process, the current phase where it, like, I think it's 50% capacity, and it's like, you know, whatever the capacity is, even, you know, even just open that much, it seems like so much because we have, you know, there haven't been customers in the restaurant for a long yeah. time. And it's like, no, there are, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so much, you know, but it's like, yeah, uh, whatever, you know, can't, can't wait for it to be, you know, just can hardly wait for it to be, you know, fully open and everything and all live. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's a huge part of my business is meeting people face to face. And I haven't been able to do that for the last year. And so it's, uh, it's going to be good to get back to that. And I've been patiently waiting for it just like everybody else. And it's going to get here. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that'll be, that'll be nice. You know, just to, you know, actually meet, meet your customers, you know, clients face to face and, mm -hmm. you know, and talk to them right then, right there. In, yeah you know, face to face instead of you know distance via zoom call and you know just on a screen and you can't really i mean you can communicate but it seems like you can communicate so much more in person oh sure and, well it's such a big part of it too is just uh when you meet someone and you're trying to decide if you want to do business with them it's all about a vibe yeah and, it's all about you, how you feel about that person and how you connect with them. And it's so difficult to do that over the phone um, or via email or uh, whatever. So yeah, that's a big part of it. And I'm gonna be happy to have that back, so. Right, right. Yeah, I know, uh, like like I just experienced, I experienced uh, at the end of this last month, well, on the 24th, I celebrated 29 years clean and sober. And, it's like in 2020, at the beginning of 2020, it was pre-COVID, pre-quarantine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was able to go to, a, I was actually able to go to a 12-step meeting and get my, and get a coin for my 28 years. But this year, you know, wasn't able to get to, a, there was a, there was a couple meetings available, in-person meetings available from what I heard, but I wasn't able to get to them. And, um, due to my schedule or whatever and mm -hmm. you know I couldn't go so I didn't wasn't able to go get a coin you know so I'll have to wait till later till I can go to an in-person meeting yeah definitely well that's a big coin to get and I can relate I uh I too celebrated in December three years and oh, right on. Congratulations. I, I was able to find an in-person meeting to go to, to to get my coin but uh yeah that's uh that's been a big part of the uh, helping me through the quarantine as well as you know, the Zoom meetings and, and whatnot. So, right, on. right. On. Yeah, I, uh, you know, that what you're saying there about Zoom and Zoom calls and you know keeping us going through the quarantine. It's like with this, you know, like you were like you were saying this morning, you weren't able to come up here to the studio because of all the snow. Yeah, you know, it sort of snowed in up there and fed away. And I, I heard a couple, heard that a couple of friends who live up that way are snowed in. So I understand. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, I, I thought I would be, but you know, just decided to go out there yesterday afternoon and check it out. And, uh, you know, maybe I should have stayed home, but it was, it was. I slid.